Hey everyone, it's I Talk Apple. Hopefully you remember who I am. I'm so sorry for not making a video in forever. I say this every video now and oh well. We might as well just get into it. Today's video is great for new Mac users or people who aren't new Mac users. I don't know. It's a doc video. Uh, I know that sounds boring at first, like, oh, hey, I know how to use the dock. All you do is click on an app or a folder and it opens it. And there's also the trash and the finder and stuff like that. Well, you're partially right, but there's some other things that you can do. Um, so I'm going to talk about that today. For those of you who are completely new to the Mac and have no idea what I'm talking about, the dock is the little shelf located at the bottom of your desktop. It's right over here and it is where I store my um, most commonly used apps and folders. Um, some people like to put every app in their dock um, because it might be easier for them to open apps that way. And yeah, so on the left side of your dock, you'll find the apps. On the right side of the dock is where you'll find stacks, which are folders in the dock. Um, if you want, you can actually put links in your dock too. So all you have to do is drag the website name into the right side of your dock and then let go. And as you can see, it creates this little springboard icon and if I click on that, it opens Daring Fireball. So you might wanna do that with something you visit all the time. So there's this little thing that a lot of people don't do, which is right clicking on a Mac, like on apps in your dock. And it gives you other options besides opening them. As you can see, I get three options. I get open, obviously, show recents. Um, this has different functions, really, depending on the app. It could be useful, it might not be. With Word, it's useful. And then you get the options option. And under options, you can see we can remove from the dock. You can also drag it out of the dock to remove it. Open at login, super useful. Um, for example, I open uh, Alfred, which is my app launching app <laughs> and I have a video on that too at login because I use it all the time so why not just have it open at login just don't open too many things at login because that'll make your Mac slower to start up you can also show it in finder in case you forgot where it's located uh, this is more useful for files than it is for apps and then you can assign to all desktops this desktop this is talking about uh, spaces, so if you have multiple virtual spaces on your desktop, you can assign to a specific space. And yeah, so those are the options that you get when you right click on an app that isn't open. Now, when an app is open, so let's open Microsoft Word here, which could take a while. And with the magic of video editing, I will make it a shorter process. Okay, so Word is open. And now if I right click on it, I get a few more options. So. I get the open recent option right here and it's actually useful because it shows um, my recently opened files with Word and this is actually funny because all of this is from last year because I haven't used this computer at all for schoolwork this year. Um, so that's really useful for certain apps, especially Word. You also get the same options that we had before and then you can also show all windows like if you've got multiple windows open and you've hidden some, you can also hide the app or quit it, of course. And if the app is not responding, like it froze or something, when you right click, it'll say force quit. Okay, so here's iTunes. Uh, you can see all my wonderful Regina Spector music. She's the best person ever. Um, and if you right click when iTunes is open, you get a bunch more options. Um, obviously pertaining to iTunes. So it depends what the app is. So we've got repeat, like all on or off. We can put it on shuffle, play, next, previous, all of this like iTunesy stuff. Play recent, this is a cool one. So these are the most recent songs that I've listened to and they all except one song have Regina Spector in them in some way. Um, and then you get the same options as before. So you can see that iTunes has options specific to iTunes. Obviously with Finder, you're going to get a lot of options. You can make a new Finder window, a new smart folder, all of this other stuff. Okay, so now I have Mail open, but I've hidden it from you so you can't see it. If I right click on Mail, 
Um, I can't, it shows me which inbox I'm in. I can get new mail. I can make a new uh, viewer window. I can compose a new message directly from here. Simple. Okay, so now I'm in Safari. You can see I have three different windows open. And if I right click on this app, I can switch between the windows. So if I want Daring Fireball in front, I click on that. It brings it to the front. Um, I can create a new window from here and then the same options as before. When I showed you that I had three windows open before, I actually used a multi-touch gesture on my trackpad, but another way to do that is simply by right-clicking and clicking show all windows, and it does the same thing. And yeah, so you can see there's um, different features depending on the app. Now, moving on to the right side of the dock to our beautiful stacks here. I have them on slightly different views. So Dropbox is in list view because I access this a lot. I've got a lot of files and folders and this way it's really easy to navigate through them. And then for uh, my documents, I've got sort of the same view. And then for downloads, I have it in what's called a fan view. It's actually automatic depending on how many um, items I have in the stack. And you can change your stacks options also by right clicking on the stack. So if I right click here, I can change how I sort the files within the stack. Um, I can display as a folder or a stack. That's just how it's viewed. And then I can change how I view the content. So right now I've got it in list view. Um, if you want to see what grid view looks like, there you go. And then if you open a folder in the grid, it brings you like inside the folder so you can actually navigate in there. So that's that's it, that wraps up this video. If you wanna learn more about the interface um, on the Mac, I have a video from two years ago. It's a really basic introduction. I'll have an annotation right here somewhere. You can click on that. And other than that, that's really all I have to say. You should follow me on Twitter so you um, don't think that I'm dead because I don't make videos enough and I'm so sorry. Um, and yeah, that's it. Have a great day or night or afternoon or morning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I forgot how to end videos. Bye.